and today we're talking to Tim Fitzhires. Hello. How are you doing? Hello. So, how are you doing today? I'm doing very well. The sun is out. Yes. Edinburgh is an entirely different colour to what I thought it was. <laughs> But the fringe is known for rain. It is known for rain, and it turns out when it's sunny, even the stones are slightly different colour. Normally it looks quite grey and quite gritty. Today there's a real tint of beige there. It's, it's impressive. Well done, Edinburgh. Yeah. So your new show is called Challenger. Yes, it is. Yes, I do. Yeah. That's good. That's why. We're, that's it's almost like that's why we're here. Uh, yes, I would love to tell you about that. Tim Fitzheim Challenger. It's it does what it says on the tip. It's about challenge. So I've taken on over the course of this year 32 different challenges, and uh, each night we talk about whichever of those challenges. I mean, there's a couple of core challenges that I talk about every night, and then I swap in different challenges depending on how you are. And it's about it's about trying to say to people, you know, you can achieve anything you put your mind to. Don't let other people limit you. So I think there's a real like, I think there's a real culture maybe in Britain of. Where, where British people will kind of go, I could do this, and then another British person will go, no, well, no, I haven't thought about this, and maybe that, and maybe just, just stay in bed and get ahead. And so there's just this sort of very negative kind of uh, psychology sometimes, and I wanted Challenger to be the antidote to that. I want it to be a show that makes people get up out of the room and go, let's do this. Yeah. That's what it's about, in a nutshell. Yeah. In a nutshell. Obviously there's an hour of that, and it's more organized, sort of. <laughs> Was it your first show last night? Uh, no, two nights ago. Oh, yeah. two nights ago? Yeah, and yeah. So it's been going well? Yeah, it's been absolutely lovely and great. And yeah, it's it's funny and it's together and uh, audiences are laughing. That's good. That's always the main aim of the game. And yeah, it's, it, I'm really pleased with it, actually. I'm really pleased. It's slightly different for me normally because normally with my shows before, I finish up the projects. I've thought them up, I've done them, and then I've told people about it. Whereas this year, I've very much been challenged to do things. Which is, the, which is the sort of the difference for me, and it's trying to get used to the fact of, of maybe not being in control of the challenge, just taking the challenge on whatever's been thrown at me and trying to, to do my best. So you've actually broken three world records. Yes. All for charity. Yes. Yes. Do you have yes. any more plans? Yes. Yes, I do. Yes. What's planned? I don't know yet. I've got, <laughs> I've got ideas in my head. The problem is they all start as weird ideas in my head, and then I, I start trying to see how far they will go and who might you know, help and how it might work. A lot of the ideas that I have don't actually work within the laws of physics. So there's always a problem with that. So there's been a few? Yeah, there's been a few that haven't been possible physically. Well, you inflated the world's largest balloon. Yeah, I did. But you wouldn't think. Yeah, yeah, no, you shouldn't, you shouldn't be able to do that. So that was bigger than a transit van, that balloon. Yeah, yeah, it's huge. It's a big balloon. And, um, and it took me 6,630 breaths. Yeah, I passed out twice. Because yeah. it turns out, this is the weird thing, I didn't know this. Basically, when you're blowing a balloon up, right, you're, you're going, yeah. but you never actually take in. Your body doesn't take in the good stuff in the air. So cause you're just literally in, blowing in and out, blowing in and out, blowing in and out. So what happens is your brain starts to not get enough. Is it oxygen or all the yeah. good stuff? And so it goes, I got a minute, and, and it passes out. Because it wants to stop you from doing that. And so I worked out this trick whereby if your ears start to tingle, then you know you're just about to pass out. So you need to wow. like stop, take a, an actual breath, and then carry on going. <laughs> That's the tip. <laughs> if you want to try it. for a feature going yep. up the lens. Yeah. Okay. That's the tip. Yeah. So you've been coming to the French since 1999? Oh, no, before that. Uh, before that. Yeah, no, I, got, I was nominated for Perrier in 19. Uh, that used to be the end of the comedy we just before Perrier. I was on the best newcomer list that year in, in, in 1999. And before that, I'd done it as a student. So I, I think I've been doing Edinburgh since I was 18. So what keeps bringing you back there? I love Edinburgh. It's a fantastic city and this is a fantastic festival. For people that haven't been to the festival, come to the festival. It's an amazing place. You, you really won't see anywhere like it. Um, it's, there's so much going on. There are arts festivals all over the place now, but there really isn't anything on quite this scale. And that's really exciting to be part of that. It's yeah. exciting. To be around all this creative buzz of people doing stuff is, is a really exciting thing. It's really exciting to do. One last question. Yeah. You've had an incredible career. What's been. Wow, an incredible career. I Have would I had say an incredible so. career? I would say it's an incredible career. You're a kind of person. <laughs> so, what's been your favourite highlight? What's been your highlight? Uh, gosh. Uh, wow. I, uh, I don't know what. 
whenever I achieve one of my projects, that's always that's always nice because I set my heart on it and I really go for it. And, and just achieving any one of those is, is always great. I think it's 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 kind of like completing a challenge is, is exciting. That's the nice part. And then turning that into a show and making people laugh about it is even better. That's the absolute thing. Thank you so much for talking. It's a pleasure. It's been, it's been a pleasure. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this has been Lauren Ritchie from Waffle TV, sponsored by Westphere. Thank you.